Okay, one of the easiest graphs to produce is the pie graph. And as long as you've got some discrete data here, uh, and the data represents 100% of whatever you're measuring, then a pie graph would be appropriate. And so just as before, we highlight everything in the data group, and we look at for either insert chart, or as before, you can go to insert and then chart. And then you should see pie graph or circle graph, however you want to call it, as one of the choices. So we're going to choose that. And notice the default is pretty good, actually. Number of students, uh, it's got a nice legend, very colorful. It shows the percentage in each one. So if you do have data that is not in percent form, in our case, our data wasn't in percent form, it converts it to percent. Um, and so let's take a look at some of the customization uh, features. We got title, number of students. Um, maybe we want to change that to favorite sport. Okay, and we can look down, we can change things uh, like the font and the background. We can change what the slice is. So the percentage or the value, we can put that in there. Um, we can put the label in there if we want, uh, or we could have nothing. Uh, I'm going to have the percent in there uh, as the value is already in the table, so a percent would be an added source of information. And it is uh, got our colors here for each. We can change the colors for each of the series. Uh, it's already got the legend in there, and once we're good with that, we can click Insert, and we've got our graph, which is all set.